so you guys know that class of like middle-aged white suburban moms that carry around day planners everywhere they go and every minuscule detail of everything they do is written down in that day planner and they consult that day planner 15 times a day. My mom is part of that cult. But something I do have to admit about the whole day planner situation is that I still consult with my mother on a regular basis to make sure I don't double book things. A little background on yours truly here. Uh, I forget everything. Now I don't think that I've got some like cognitive disability or anything, but if I think of something that needs done or I'm asked to do something, I will forget that as soon as my attention is shifted somewhere else. Now, from the outside looking in, it appears that I'm just being willfully ignorant or a jerk, which isn't the case, I promise. All of my closest friends and family understand that I have the attention span of freaking Dory, so they haven't given up on me yet. But all of this just brings me to the theme of this week's video. Now, as you guys saw in the first clip, I picked up this thing. Well, what are you gonna use that for, Caleb? I'm glad you asked. I am going to be conducting an experiment this week with this thing. I am also acknowledging the fact that there is very little chance that I do this long term. But I am committing every day of this week to this experiment. Here's what I'm doing. I'm going to carry this thing around everywhere I go. And anytime I think of something that needs done or anytime my wife asks me to do something, I'm going to write it down. And every single morning I wake up this week, the first thing I'm going to do is consult with the notebook. Here's the goal. I want to see if it is actually going to make a difference. My guess is yes, but all of that is contingent on my actually going through with it, which historically my odds aren't good. My New Year's resolution is about wasting less time, and I really think that this could help me use my time more productively. And I'm going to document all of this, because for some reason, people find it funny when others suffer. Well, I obviously can't start this today because it's... Well, it's two in the afternoon, and I also haven't had time to prepare the notebook. But the next clip you see will be tomorrow morning as I'm consulting the notebook. Well, that didn't happen. So that last clip you saw of me talking about this this notebook, um, that, that clip was filmed uh, Tuesday afternoon, right? So I was supposed to start Wednesday morning, and it, it's currently it's currently 12:30 on Friday, but I sort of kind of have an explanation. And and hear me out. I I at least tried. You can see here I've marked out Wednesday and I marked out Thursday and and written down Friday. So I didn't just blow the chores off. I just transferred them to the following days. And I I do have an excuse. Um, whether it's a good one or not you can decide but Wednesday morning I woke up and I actually did mark some stuff off of this I had to call the call the mechanic and schedule my my work truck for an oil change and I did do that and I went and got that oil change yesterday so Tuesday night into Wednesday I didn't sleep well at all like sometimes I'll I'll fall asleep fine and I will I'll sleep a decent amount but the quality of sleep is so bad that no matter how much of the sleep I get, I wake up exhausted. Bro, these Jake breaks ruin my video! And another thing, on top of me being exhausted and not sleeping well the night before, I felt horrible. Like, from a sick standpoint. I don't think I was sick. I think it all came from me just being exhausted, but I felt horrible. It felt like, like, like a pickup truck hit me and then put it in reverse and ran my fat butt over again. Well, that covers Wednesday, I think, but there's also an explanation for Thursday. So like I said, I had scheduled an oil change for my work truck. Well, my parents live in the city that the oil change was in, and I live about 30 minutes south of them, okay? well. I also worked really late Wednesday night and I was just like, you know what, mom, dad, 
let me stay at your house Wednesday night so I don't have to get up super early for this oil change. I don't have to risk being exhausted and driving off of the road. So that's what I did. I've slept at my parents before on an air mattress and it was fine, but I've never slept on an air mattress with a pregnant wife, okay? And it's not like she did anything bad. She didn't, but I was very uncomfortable all night and I tossed and turned and I maybe got two hours of total sleep. So Thursday, I was exhausted and I was also with my nephews on Thursday and if my nephews are there, nothing productive is getting done. I play with them, that's it. But why live in the past? That was Wednesday and Thursday and it's Friday now. So let's get something done. This list isn't like big and impossible. Um, the biggest thing on the list was to record this video because I didn't do any of it Wednesday or Thursday, so I have some catching up to do, obviously. But it's little things like take the trash down, um, work out, and then uh, take the tape down. And what I mean by that is, in last week's video, I taped off the ceiling for my wife to paint. Well, she's done painting now, so I've got to take all that tape down. Time after time, if you um, I promise it's still Friday, but the time came for me to get ready for work and uh, I'm not sure my boss would appreciate me wearing a purple Torg hoodie on the clock so I just switched to a work jacket. But I'm starting to creep into a longer run time than I like for these vlogs so I want to end the saga of the to-do list and there are a few key takeaways that I want to point out. Number one is that I genuinely believe that to-do list helped me remember things and helped me be more productive with my time. Number two is something that I learned about myself. I am really, really bad at keeping a to-do list. But believe it or not, I think I'm going to commit to the continued use of that to-do list. There is a weird sense of satisfaction I get by crossing something off of that to-do list and it just enhances the feeling of actually accomplishing what is on the list. But like I said, this video is getting longer than I would like it to be, so I'm gonna end the video. If you enjoyed, please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, it would help me out a lot. Follow my socials, they'll be in the description below. Do something nice for someone today. I will see you guys Sunday, but most importantly, stay unbroken. You guys thought I forgot the Red Bull. Well, joke's on you. I'm drinking a Red Bull in every one of these videos until they sponsor me.